Aries, uh, this will be some brief video feedback on your leave behind primarily. Aries, uh, um, <clears throat> I wasn't clear what this was. I went to your discussion um, post and I see here that you had uh, considered the idea of using a postcard as some sort of leave behind, but <clears throat> um, you decided against it, but you kept it in the suite. I also see that you have gotten, let's see, you have two, uh, you have another sketch. Now, is this like a, from a notepad? Is this is this uh, meant to indicate spiral binding? And the I like the shape of it. It's unique, um, but a little confused. Now, about the logo, I, I, I'm assuming that this is your, your logo. I like it because it's almost graffiti-like. Uh, I like the soft edge circle. This is very how, hard to read uh, loud, I guess. Design loud, is that the name of your, your perspective uh, company or design firm just curious um, it shows a lot of exploration uh, I like this pastel um, background but <clears throat> I wanted you know to make sure that it was purposeful intended and that it all strengthened uh, your conception of yourself you know we're sort of re we're inventing ourselves for um, for media so this is the second one, which I, I'm assuming was a postcard or perhaps a notepad, also spiral bound. The uh, the palette is retro, I, I suppose, this turquoise against this magenta-like pink. Um, reminds me of the 50s. I think it tends to water down your logo. Here's your logo large. I think I had talked earlier about you know making this more uh, prominent so that we can read it, knocking it out maybe in a bolder type. Uh, again, I like the <clears throat> calligraphic, almost graffiti-like quality of your logo. Um, <clears throat> the, a, the W is not too terribly legible, um, although I like the repetition of these hoops or loops. Maybe if this one was just a little higher, you know, maybe the terminal was here rather than down here, it might read as a W a bit more. Just a suggestion. Um, or is there a third letter in there? Because this alone looks like a W. All right, um, but overall, really nice, very distinctive uh, and unusual, a um, uh, interesting melange of ingredients. But you're also, you know, sort of referring to what I would say uh, was like punk um, uh, graphics, a lot of floating triangles. The palette is also a bit punk, um, you know, say circa 1985, maybe, or earlier, uh, just so you're aware of some of its connotations, at least to a, an older person like myself. Um, but I enjoy looking at your progress here and uh, don't hesitate to reach out uh, if you need any more assistance.